Welcome back to the Southampton International Boat Show 2022. This week we are having an interview with Hansa on board the Hansa 418. Adam from the UK dealer Inspiration Marine is going to tell us all about the boat. So we're here today on the Hansa 41 and uh, this is a German range of yachts which has been around for around about 30-35 years and I'm here with Adam and he's going to tell us a little bit about this boat and the overall uh, Hansa range. So hi Adam. Hello. Hello. And uh, tell us, uh, this is the uh, 41. Yes, the Hansa 418. 418. And how does that sit within the Hansa range of boats? So it's the mid-level of size of boat. So we go down to the Hansa 315, which is 31 feet, and we go up to the Hansa 675. Um, so again, 60, actually 69 feet. Uh, how many boats do you have in between? We are eight, eight boats in between. So it's quite a big fleet really, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. And uh, this one is the 418. What's, uh, what, are, what are the sort of uh, design benefits and the philosophy behind the design of the 418 and also uh, the range itself? Yeah. All of the Hansers are designed for safe, sort of fast cruising really. Um, when we say fast cruising, we're not just talking about going around at 60 knots, which we're not going to achieve. We are talking about light wind, air sailing. If you've got five, four knots of wind, you're still going to be sailing. So they are performance boats for cruising. Um, they are designed for short-handed sailing, though. You can do everything from the helm. Now, I personally have sailed the 31-foot up to our 58-foot single-handed. And apart from leaving the dock, you don't actually need any assistance doing anything on the boat because everything is at the helm. Um, between that and the self-tacking jibs, which is standard on all Hansers, they are l really easy to sail and just, well, I find them an absolute delight. And what are the sort of key features of the boat which, uh, which sets it apart from the competition? It has to be the level of trim that we're at now. Um, over the time that Hansers been going, they've always been tweaking the trim. Um, they were really the finish inside is really I find it second to none. Um, okay, there are some other boat runs out there, but they've got higher levels of trim. But then we are talking about much more expensive boats for the mid market that Hunter sits in. The trim and the level finish inside and the quality of the build overall, um, I think it's honestly second to none. So this is a forty-one foot boat, and what's the sort of options on the configuration for one of these boats? So in layout, um, this is our three cabin layout we've got here. If you have um, two cabins, for instance, you have a larger galley, which goes back to the berth behind me, and then you have a large cockpit locker. Um, you can also have a wet room here, just behind this galley door to that cabin, and there will be another boat head behind to make a wet room. You can also have a second heads up forward, which is quite a popular option. Um, this layout is really, really the most popular though because it does allow for the owners to be able to sleep with their heads against the bow on the boat because it's more or less a square boat, um, square bed. Yeah, so you've got an island bed at the front, yeah. which is actually quite unusual in a 41 foot boat. Exactly, yeah. And uh, that's very good. Yeah, with a real headboard and actual storage behind it yeah. as well. So, because with that space that we've now gained, we have even more storage. And then you see you've got the, uh, the garage door that goes down at the back that turns itself into a bathing platform, which yeah. is rather good. And then I guess you'd have the big bin of me and the uh, spray hood and everything, and you'll all kitted out, ready a to go. Exactly, yeah. So we've done quite a few davits, um, quite happily with people with other tenders, solar archers. Um, is the Hansa always we want to make sure that each boat is built for its owner. So no boat is built without an owner already in mind um, to make sure it's really truly unique to them. Um, so with the bathing platform and its built-in ladder which is absolutely fantastic, they've got handles that come up um, so to make it much easier for people getting in and out which it sounds a simple thing but I don't know about yourself, but I have got in and out of the water on so many boats when you get to the top of the bathing platform and there's nothing, nothing to grab onto. <laughs> so it's a simple... It's so true though, yeah. it is very true. It's a yeah. simple thing, but it's where Hansa are very good at just thinking about these sorts of little details. And I digress, but even the reading light that's um, behind you, we've got all around the boat, you tap it on the end, it turns red, and they all have USB chargers in the bottom. Especially in today's world, every single boat has all of them. 
and it's just the simple little the details detail. that they really pay real attention yeah. to. And then I guess you can have all the normal things like uh, fridges, freezers, and uh, uh, possibly dishwashers or something. Yes, exactly. So you can have micro so behind the microwave, which is also an electric oven grill, which is ideal if you're on shore power or you've got a generator. Um, we can have air conditioning. We have a um, normal diesel heating on here, hot air. On some of the larger models, you can even have hot water heating, heating system yeah. as well. Um, but we can, yeah, of course, we go through water makers, bow thrusters. Really, there's quite a large options list. And this has got a lovely uh, light and bright interior for your typical monohull, which isn't like uh, wraparound windows or anything. And does it come in uh, optional uh, finish? Yes, so this is called the French Oak. We have four um, colour options in total for the walls, same again for the floors, and countless amounts of upholstery. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? So you're not stuck into having exactly the boat. You, you can almost feel like you're creating the boat yourself. Exactly, yeah. And that's, again, going back on my earlier point, that Hansa do truly build every boat with the customer in mind already. So every boat is built to order. And how many boats do they build a year, then? Um, we on about 450. Um, That's we, quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, especially when Hansa is part of um, a large group so that do make some other brands that Hansa own, which is a Hansa-owned and operated yard making 450 Hansas. Yeah. So if I wanted a boat like this 41 and I was to order it today at the show, how long did it take for me to actually receive it? So at the moment we are in September 22 and we will be looking at a spring delivery of 2024. Spring delivery of 2024. 2024. So, so we're really talking a good 18 months away, really. We right? are, yes. Yeah, wow, yeah, that's uh, quite some time. It's, yeah, so we've got a bit um, longer lead times. Um, last few years has definitely driven up a lot of demand. Yeah. Our lead times have got longer as a result of a queue. Yeah. Um, our production time remains the same at seven months. It's from start to finish. From start to finish. Okay. From starting the hull through to it coming out at the end of the production line at the quality control. And so would you pick it up in Germany or would you uh, would it be shipped to the UK? It would be shipped to the UK. Yeah. So um, we'd, on this size it would be put onto a lorry and brought over which we actually just include in the basic boat, boat price. So people receive a boat in the water ready to go in the UK on the basic boat price. Um, on the, some of the larger models if you're getting 50 foot can come on a lorry but 54 and larger do tend to need to come by the water. And what sort of budget are we talking about for a sort of typical, if there is a typical that is, a uh, sort of sail away boat? On this boat, um, we did some maths um, before the show to give people an idea what a typical sail away is. Um, and actually it would be about 339,000, uh, including that, delivered. Um, and when I say delivered as well, it can be Hamble or Slovenia, which is a great starting point for the Med. For many people and of course then they might be ex fat depending on their circumstances Absolutely. which I, i'm sure you actually covered. one of the benefits of brexit that nobody seems to have realized is of course, <laughs> uh, you know you can take a boat to the mediterranean be british and have it delivered down there and you don't pay the vat uh, i mean okay there is the 18 month rule that kicks in exactly but yes that isn't actually that difficult to get around no, and so not. you can now buy a boat vat free in europe and sell it and that is a great benefit yeah of, uh, of Brexit. Yeah, the only benefit many would say that we've seen to have found. <laughs> <laughs> and not everybody can afford to buy a boat. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, if you are buying a boat and you're going down a med, it is a great advantage. We, we have seen that more and more um, the last couple of years, people taking advantage of this. Um, the only thing, of course, people need to watch out for is their 90 days and 180. Yes. Which is Absolutely. the only issue that we do have with people are struggling with. But on the yeah the VAT side, it's... Uh, that's rather appealing for a lot of people. So we do deliver to Slovenia, if people wish, um, at the same price as bringing it here. Because by road from the factory, it actually works out about the same. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much, Adam. And I think it's a cracking boat, great boat, and uh, wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Inside of the Hans uh, 418, and it's a very, very light boat inside, isn't yeah, it? They've got yeah, a, they've got a great option there with that light ash timber work, and uh, it really does help to make the boat more spacious and light because you, you know, monohulls typically they're, they are down inside, and uh, light is a big thing, really, isn't mm -hmm. it? Um, absolutely stunning boat, I thought. 
Um, storage is uh, has storage everywhere. Yeah, really. for a forty-one foot boat, they've got three really good sized cabins. Yes. Okay, the boat's only got one, one hedge, but yeah. that's an option to have more heads. Um, but the front cabin, the owner's cabin, is rather nice. Yes, very yeah, nice, very very spacious. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. It's very good. And the deck, uh, the decks are pretty well uncluttered. Unlike the Moody, though, when you walk around the Moody, you don't go anywhere near any shrouds. Here, you've got to weave your way around one of the shrouds. But having said that, uh, the decks are wide and quite flush, and uh, it's really a lovely, lovely boat.